All right, everybody, what's up? It's Thunder. Back on Destiny. Back in the Vault of Glass. Yesterday was Tuesday. The weekly reset came, which means we could do the raid again. Yay! Love doing the raid, man. The raid is so much fun. A few of you guys might be asking Thunder, but you already did the raid, man. Why you keep doing this raid? Why are you doing it again? Man, for the loot, of course. It's all about the loot, man. Listen, pe most people play this game. I mean, the story was was okay. I mean, no, it wasn't even okay. It was like, uh, like a B-movie kind of story. You know what I mean? Uh, the story wasn't that great. People play this game for the loot, man. For the loot, for the grind. I think that's why people play this game. People like getting rare loot, <laughs> you know? And that's why I'm playing the raid again. I'm trying to get the Vex Mytho class, which is probably the best gun in the game. Now, I know it's up for debate. Now, I'm running in here because my boy's screaming. He got teleported all by himself. This, this raid is buggy as hell, man. It really is. So I run in here. I'm like, where's everybody, dude? <laughs> There's nobody in here. This dude was screaming, help, I'm in here by myself. I'm like, there's nobody here. So I'm going to run back in the time gate and get the hell out of here. I'm marked by the void. Screen's getting dark. Kill these damn supplicants. And now I'm going to jump mid for some time's vengeance. I can't see shit. Cleanse, baby, cleanse. I can't see. <laughs> cleanse my ass. There you go. <laughs> so I get cleansed. And we got time's vengeance. So it's time to unload on Atheon. And when you get time's vengeance, you just do way more damage. And you get that time's vengeance by killing the oracles when you go into the time gate. Anyway. Yeah, I know. Destiny shit. Yeah, a lot of you guys probably have no idea what I'm even talking about. Well, you should. You guys should definitely try Destiny. Give this game a shot. And it's a relatively new community, man. This game's only went out for a couple months. So we got a new community out here. Uh, times of changing. In case you guys haven't noticed, man, the, the power is shifting. Okay? There's a lot less people playing Call of Duty these days. Myself included. Haven't quit COD. Just taking a break. Until uh, they get some shit straightened out over there. Oh, get on, son. A little ground pound with the relic. I love the relic, man. I, ju I just hold it down with the relic. What can I say? So these dudes are killing oracles. I'm going to cleanse them because we got marked by the void. There you go. Turn the lights back on. Shoot those oracles, baby. So Destiny's got a great little community, man. There's people have come over here that are sick of COD. A lot of the Halo communities here. De Destiny, the Destiny community is a nice mix of just the people who are sick of COD and uh, the Halo community. And it's a real nice group of people. And I think where games like Call of Duty that like bring out the worst in people, <laughs> like this game brings out the best in people because you gotta work together. Like there's so much teamwork going on right here, right now. And uh, like when you do the raid missions or the strike missions, there's just a lot of teamwork. Now, PvP's a different story. PvP in this game is like, you know, it's, you guys saw from my last Crucible upload, it's like who could piss off the other guy the most? You know, multiplayer is tricky, man, but right here, I don't think people buy this game for uh, Crucible. I think you buy this game for, right here, PvE. I mean, it's a RPG MMO. That's what this game is. And what the hell is this shit? Oh, yeah, we get the detain field up again. I gotta get rid of this thing. But it's a relatively new game. It's a new community. If you guys are sick of COD, try try uploading some Destiny videos, man. Upload some Destiny vids. Uh, and this game's gonna be around for a while, man. Activision has a 10-year plan for this game. Uh, they're supporting this game. Tons of content coming out. Uh, DLC's dropping. Uh, they already announced Destiny Part 2. And hopefully it's got a little bit of a better story <laughs> than Destiny Part 1. And look at this Praetorium foil I got. This is the Raid Fusion Rifle. This thing is amazing. I'm just shitting on these supplicants. This, that, that, this Fusion Rifle is so amazing, man. <laughs> the Praetorian foil. I love it. So there you go. So these guys are out of the time gate. We're back in Time's Vengeance. He's got the Relic Shield pop. Here we go. Time to take Atheon out and I smoke his ass. There you go, beating Atheon on hard again, and check out what I got. Where's the rewards at, baby? Come on. Oh, the Vex Mythoclast. I also got the uh, Raid Sparrow, and I got two more helmets. Oh, man. Two more Prime Zealot helmets. And one of them is actually good, because one of them's got better stats than the one I have now. So I was pretty happy with that. So right now, man, I'm just, I'm just so happy. This is the second time I've beaten the Raid on hard. And on my second attempt, I got the Vex Mythoclast, which is pretty good luck. I know people have done this shit like 20 times and still haven't gotten it. So I'm just real happy right now. We're all just having fun. And this is what gaming is, man. This is what gaming should be. It should be all about having fun. So I was just like hooting and hollering. I was like, yeah, I got the Mythic class on. Yeah, I was just like screaming. I was having so much fun. So there you go. <laughs> I put the Mythic class on. Probably the rarest weapon in the game. The only place you could get this weapon is by beating Atheon on hard in the Vault of Glass. Zer is not going to be selling this bad boy. All right, so I got the Mythic class. I heard this thing got nerfed too, man. Unfortunately, I heard this thing got uh, its base damage nerf 34%. A 34% base damage nerf? Damn, how OP was this thing, man? But you know what? This is the hardest gun in the game to get. 
In my opinion, it should be OP. I mean, if you grind in all the way to level 30, and you beat the raid on hard, and you beat Atheon on hard a bunch of times to get this thing, I think you should have a little bit of an advantage. What do you guys think? I mean, there's so many amazing guns in this game. But, uh, all right, let's, let's test this gun out, man. Let's go see what this gun can actually do. Uh, we've got the dance party going on here. So we're going to go to my uh, favorite place to farm, the Temple of Crota, here in the dark beyond on the moon. And I'll activate my Black Wax Idol. And this is my favorite place to go to farm for uh, Glimmer. Because Glimmer is hard to come by in this game, man. But if you come here, you activate the Black Wax Idol, and you just kill these guys over and over again, you'll get a shitload of money pretty quick. And here's a Mythoclast in action. And this thing is a tank. This is... <laughs> look at this. I have not even upgraded this gun at all yet. This is just the base of Vex Mythoclast. And look how bad it's shitting on everybody. It's, it does solar damage. Uh, this thing's pretty amazing, man. Damn, what the hell was this thing like before it got nerfed? I actually heard it's getting buffed again, too. And I would not want to be the guy in charge of nerfing and buffing and balancing all the weapons in Destiny, man. Because there's a shitload of weapons in Destiny. There's a shitload. I mean, how do you... I can't even fathom how they balance and... <laughs> balance all these weapons in there, man. It's crazy. Uh, but you know what I say, man. Who cares if they're balanced or not? Again, uh, PvE, I'm fine with guns being overpowered. And I think this, as long as you don't kill the knight, you'll be good here too. Just don't kill the knight, the hallowed knight. And you could keep farming this area over and over again. So you could rank up your guns, you could do challenges here, bounties here, whatever. Get Glimmer, of course. I'm just going to finish out taking these dudes right Look at the hip fire on this thing. Oh, get owned, baby. The Mythoclast does solar damage. And if you kneel down in this puddle, you could actually shoot yourself and kill yourself and start the farm all over again. Pretty cool. Tips and tricks. Aha, farm for Glimmer. There you go. We woke in the hive. I'm going to spawn right in. Get some more glimmer. And well, this is a nice little trick right here. If you're using the hunter with the blade dancer, this is what I like to do. <laughs> this is what I like to do. I like to get my super on. I wait till they all bunch up at the door. And there you go. Go bowling for glimmer. Strike! <laughs> there you go. Just bowl them right down. Just use your energy wave. You just get a shitload of kills. Look at this. That, uh, that's why I like to do that one bounty where you use your super to kill 20 enemies. That, that's what I do. I come right here. I get that knocked out in like, I don't know, a minute. So I'm still using the Mythoclast, uh, having a shitload of fun with this thing, man. And like I said, I got no problem with this gun being the most OP gun in the game because it's the hardest gun to get, and it's just a grind, man. If you grind your ass off with this weapon, then you should be shitting on people. That's just the way it should go. Uh, but I guess because of PvP, uh, there's some problems arising. Uh, I guess Destiny's trying to figure out how to balance this weapon for PvE and PvP. So that's another thing, man. And since I'm done farming, I'm just going to smoke this guy right here. You kill the knight. I don't need these guys to spawn again. I really don't care. And yeah, look at this thing. This thing just melts people. Oh my god, man. Amazing. I love it. So this gun is really cool. It feels amazing too, man. So this gun was definitely... You guys might be wondering, was it worth it? Yes. This gun is worth the grind. It sounds amazing. It's actually a fusion rifle, this gun. It's a fusion rifle primary, but it feels like an assault rifle. Let's check this thing out, man. Look at this thing. The Vex Mythoclast. It looks sick. It feels sick. And there you go. Timeless Mythoclast. Weapon has no charge time. Single bolt each time you pull the trigger. It does solar damage. And here are the perks on this bad boy. There you go. Linear Compensator. I'm probably going to use this one. The uh, Smart Drift Control once I get it. Just for the extra stability. And yeah, stability on assault rifles are pretty damn crucial. Especially this gun. It feels like it does a ton of damage anyway. So the stability. Uh, that Zen Moment give you even more stability. Upgrade some damage, enhanced battery, magazine size, I'll probably be using that, <laughs> extra mags. That is one problem with this gun I've noticed so far. Uh, it does kind of run out of ammo a little quick, but I mean, you're killing people so fast, you don't even really notice it that bad. But this gun does chew through ammo, and you don't really have a lot of it. So there are the perks on this gun. And again, man, I'm, I'm just really happy I got it, and I don't have a problem with it being OP, man. I, I heard it got... Oh, Nerf, but I also heard it got buffed again. Is that true? All right, you guys got to let me know because you guys know a shitload of stuff. And here's another question I can ask you guys. The Lucky Raspberry chess piece. Now, you see right there uh, the bottom stat on it, carry more ammo for fusion rifles. Will that work with the Mythoclast? class? Because technically the Mythoclast class is a fusion rifle. But I know that it takes the white ammo to refill it where most fusion rifles take green ammo. I don't know. Does the Lucky Raspberry give the Mythoclast class more ammo? Does anybody know that? Uh, if you guys know any tips and tricks for me on how to get more ammo for the Mythoclast, uh, what like setup I could run, or what piece of gear I could use, let me know. Put it in the comment section. But anyway, guys, that's all I got. Uh, really, really happy and excited I got this gun, the Vex Mythoclast. Having a shitload of fun in Destiny. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a very happy and safe Thanksgiving. 
I'll see y'all on the next one.